What's up, guys? Multiplex Miscellaneous number 45, the final mail number six, uh, going on right now live here on Twitch. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. I am your host, Caleb Coho, uh, and we are back with some more shenanigans of different, uh, the, you can call this B tier Jeopardy. D tier Jeopardy. Are we Jeopardy? At least C tier. At least C tier. Are we even Jeopardy? Um, more like Trivial Pursuit. You might notice we don't have Kelly, we don't have Barr, we don't have Michael. So I got Spence. Um, Bottom Spence, of the ladder. <laughs> well, welcome to your first time co hosting Miscellaneous. How are you feeling? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, this suit has significance that I don't think you know, but you should know about. Oh. So I am showing it off and hopefully it works. If not, then I'm just hosting. In a is that weird... is that the I have to ask? Is that the suit that you wore when you hosted a Warzone match? One, uh, God no, God okay. that is burned somewhere. Okay, really burned. <laughs> I was I was gonna say if it is maybe change. Uh, but how uh, how everyone uh, here is doing? I just totally went for eight different things at once and just stronked out. Uh, listen, <laughs> it's final amount. So I got four teams. If you saw the post, you know who these four teams are. Uh, it's going to be a really freaking dope show. So we'll go ahead and we'll start by bringing in uh, one of our new teams. Uh, they are Godspeed Spider-Man, Mark Minshaka, Jake Marangoni. Uh, finally getting you guys on Multiplex Miscellaneous. How are you guys feeling? You excited to be here? What do you think your odds are of winning tonight? Uh, uh, I finally watched a full show of this today. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that. Thank you for doing Commitment. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I've always been scared of doing stuff that's not movie trivia. Uh, and I think it was Michael who said, you should try at least. And I'm like, you know what? You know what? Maybe I should give it a shot. And then at least I can say I did it. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this. Mark was looking for someone. I was looking for someone. So it kind of worked out well. Um, hopefully we can do good enough to get past round one. That'd be sweet, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we are excited to see you here. We'll bring on our second team. Uh, they've been kind of showing up in all the divisions as a pairing. It only makes sense to come to Miscellaneous together. Ryan Payne, Brittany Tapley, Beat the Geeks. How you guys doing? How are you feeling about being on Miscellaneous tonight? I'm doing good. I actually just watched one of the shows today, too. So, pretty new to <laughs> Yay! <it>. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Agreed. I watched the show, like, a couple days ago. So, I'm like, the knowledge is still there. And I remember, like, so much in the past. I'm like, okay, I feel good. I mean, yeah, let's break away from movie trivia for a while. I mean... Partially, but yeah. <laughs> Fair. Uh, one of our we have two returning teams coming in tonight. We'll bring in uh, one of them first. Uh, it is the return of Hollywood Video. So I have Wazario and Mac Quaaludes back again. Uh, how you guys doing? Uh, you hoping to have better odds tonight? What do you guys think? Fuck blockbuster! Fuck them consensually. This guy is woke as fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll bring in our last team. I said it up top that we don't have Michael or Kelly on the desk, and that's because they're finally back playing. So joining us tonight, Michael Campbell, Kelly Mian. It is California back on Multiplex Miscellaneous. Uh, how are you guys how, feeling? How do you how you uh, I, I just California with the three A's. I don't watch. Uh, I don't watch your OC show. Okay. <laughs> first, first of all, I just want to apologize to Brittany for bringing her into a match with Hollywood uh, video. Just you know, get that off the bat. Like, <laughs> if you never want to appear on multiplayer again, we understand. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, it should be fun. Kelly, how are you doing? Yeah, good. Um, just trying not to feel the pressure and take the question of time and just have fun. This is a great panel, so I've been really looking forward to this one. Absolutely. Well. I am going to write down all the names on the board, but before I do that, uh, we the way this works, we have four teams playing round one. It's going to be a whiteboard round. You're all playing individually for your teams. You're going to get one question from each category in the realm of multiplex miscellaneous. Uh, whoever has the least amount of points at the end of this round will be the first team eliminated tonight. Uh, any questions as we get into the first bit of uh, final round six? No. Uh, no. All right. <laughs> Uh, it sounds like you signed up and, and forgot. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead. We'll start uh, with your first question, which will come in the category of history slash geography. Who was the first Republican to be elected president of the United States? For, uh, for a panel, I just realized we have a panel that is over 50% non-American. Uh, playing, and we asked the president's question. That's the kind of night we're doing. 
Tim has asked me multiple times to not be political on multiplex. So I'm just gonna sit here and talk about how great me and Coho's like clothes are today. Like we're like I, we're styling as well. I'm repping the club dread light look yeah. of just patterned button ups. Five, four. Three, Kobe's proud of you. Two. One pens down. We'll go ahead. We'll start with Mac Quaaludes. Johns. Uh, we will go to Wazario. Abraham Lincoln. Uh, we'll go to Michael. Abraham Lincoln. We'll go to Kelly. Abraham Lincoln. We'll go to Ryan. I said Martin Van Buren. Uh, Brittany. I put Abraham Lincoln. Mark. Good start. John Quincy Adams. Uh, and Jake. When in doubt, just guess the most famous president, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln is correct. Uh, oh, my God. Me, honestly, I'm just going to retire right The now. Australian is <laughs> getting two points there. All the, all international all players the, just got that right. Yeah, all the <laughs> international <laughs> players got that right. <laughs> that, uh, all right. I'm not going to challenge there because the political sense is very fucking tricky anyway. So, <laughs> All right. Uh, Spence, go ahead and give their second question. Second question comes in paints and books and theaters. Just think you'll theater. What is the name of the painting technique consisting of painting with small dots? Oh, it's a question brought to you by David Desmalchian. Valid. <laughs> I was very worried for a second. I was like, did you just give something away accidentally? I was like, wait, oh, yeah, he, he, he created this. It's, uh, yeah. this oh, he it's created this technique? Yeah, of course. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Pens down. We'll start with Mac. Polka dot nerds. Uh, we'll go to Rosario. I believe that is the small dot technique or SDT. <laughs> we'll go to Michael. I said spotting. Uh, Kelly. I think it's pointillism. Uh, Ryan. That might be it. I just wrote Doppler because I was thinking of the Doppler effect. Uh, Brittany. Yeah, no clue. I just put micro painting. Uh, Jake. I put comic book technique. Uh, and Mark. I mean, it's definitely polyking. Uh, pointillism <laughs> is correct. Uh, so of course. I have California with three, everyone else with one. As you get to your third question, which is the category of multiplex. What is the new movie of the month for <laughs> Logged It? Speaking of live shows, who watched this? It's a great question. Yeah. Who did lo who did watch or logged it? Yeah, who who truly did logged it? Who really did? D log it. Uh, five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will start with Mac. Put those pens down. Ben Glarick and Ross. Uh, we will go to Wazario. Ben Glarick and Ross. Michael. Uh, catch me on Logged It tomorrow talking about Ben Glarick and Ross. Uh, Kelly. <laughs> Glenn Glarick and Ross. Ryan. No, this was just the last time I was on the Facebook page. I just wrote Luca. Uh, Brittany. Uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Uh, Mark. I didn't know. and just put the one I voted for, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. <laughs> and Jake. <laughs> Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross is correct. Uh, paying off, vote, vote with your poll options. Uh, all right, go ahead and give them the fourth question, Spence. I feel like you would have preferred this question. Uh, in gaming, name three playable characters in the classic board game Clue. I would have preferred this question, you're right. I love, mm -hmm. I love this game. Wait. You don't talk about movies here, but I also love I, I wanted to make a reference that I can't say on air. Oh, nope. but uh, yeah. Fun two times. Plus, two plus one plus two plus one plus two plus one. Five, <laughs> four, three. Well, can we get like two. five extra seconds? Sorry. Yeah, you're right. right. You good? That's fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just I'll I'll go two and a half, two and a quarter, two point one. Number Repeat nine. It. Number nine. Long. <laughs> All right. Name three playable characters in the com in the classic board game Clue. I almost say comic. Why? I also just ran over your own repeat. My bad, Spence. Yeah, it's Clue. I, I feel like you're allowed to take it. That's fine. Uh, not you, right? Not talking about the greatest board game of all time, uh, Monopoly. Mm. Hey, that game is Chef's Kiss. Oh, I know. I love playing with you and just seeing you get fucking fuming at me not trading you the railroads. <laughs> yeah, because I make. I make <laughs> And offered trades, and everyone says no because they want me to lose. Yeah, it's right. annoying. <laughs> it's your intimidating Russian accent. Four. That's true. Three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Mac. Professor Klum, Colonel Mustard, and uh, Mr. Green. I uh, will go to Wazario. 
Colonel Mustard, Mr. Green, Professor Plum. Uh, Mike, or Mark, Mike. Michael. Uh, I said Miss Scarlet, Colonel Mustard, and the bubble. Uh, Kelly. Miss Scarlet, Professor Plum, Colonel Mustard. Uh, Ryan. Colonel Mustard, Miss Scarlet, Professor Plum. Brittany. I hope this is right. Uh, Professor Plum, Colonel Mustard, and Mrs. Peacock. Uh, we're going to Jake. Uh, I did not get that. I said Colonel Mustard, Miss Green, and Mr. White. Uh, and Mark. Uh, Miss Scarlet, Colonel Mustard, and Professor Plum. That is correct. The answers we would have accepted are uh, Miss Mrs. White, Mrs. Peacock, <sighs> Professor Plum, Colonel Mustard, Miss Scarlet, and Mr. Green. I would have also accepted Reverend Green because that was his name in right. the original British one. But. I yes. think he said the butler. The butler is not a playable character. Yeah, in the, yeah. In the Michael movie. did not get a point for that. Cool. Yeah. If I just switched the colors. I yeah, yeah. if you'd right. switch, that, was, <laughs> that, that hurt. Uh, but, all right, your next question comes to the category of sports. Who is the current starting quarterback for the Cleveland Browns in the NFL? Son of a bitch. Uh, I hate these so much. Glad you took this question. I am very glad I get I'm mad you get the next one, but I, I, I'm happy I took this one. I'm not mad, but we can just talk about that later. We'll uh, talk about that later. Sports is for nerds, by the way. Just like putting that out there, letting it just sit in the yeah, air. It, it is true. Five. Four. I even think Two. One. And it's down. For Jake's answer. We'll go to Mac. Drew Carey. Uh, we will, <laughs> we'll go to Rosario. You never know with the Browns. I hope he still is. Baker Mayfield? Uh, we'll go to Michael. Hey, uh, make Michael. Yeah. Kelly. Carry me, Michael. No, nothing. Uh, Ryan. <laughs> no, I, no, I'm just going to write remember for for everyone to watch. Remember the Titans because it's a very great sports movie. Uh, Brittany. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. It's pretty Eli Manning. Uh, Jake. Sporty McSport face. <laughs> Ryan Mark. I mean, this is the wrong crowd, but he may be the most underrated player in the NFL, Baker Mayfield. Uh, Baker Mayfield is correct. I don't know if I agree with you on the underrated part, but you are correct. Uh, <laughs> Steph, <laughs> sports. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get to the next question. Next question comes to the category of TV. What television series featured political staffers named Josh Lyman, Sam Seaborn, Toby Ziegler, and CJ Craig? Uh, this isn't a spoiler. Uh, our group chat for this show pops off consistently. It's true. Uh, thank you, Yam Gods, by the way, uh, yeah. for following. Uh, I, I know you, Yam. Thank you for watching. Hope you like the suit. Uh, Joseph, thank you for watching. Uh, Ballot time, thank you for watching. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. We'll start with Mac. The West Wing. Uh, Wazario. The West Wing. Michael. The West Wing. Kelly. The West Wing. Ryan. The West Wing. Brittany. Can't believe I guessed that right. The West Wing. Uh, Mark. I did sound like characters from Veep, so I said The West Wing. Uh, and Jake. <laughs> uh, the Wing, that is West. I almost, I almost the West Wing is from... correct for the clean sweep across the board. I almost wrote down Veep as well. I was thinking <laughs> Veep as well, yeah. All right, your next question comes in the category of music. I'm making music. What young artist recently released her second album, Happier Than Ever? Yam gods saying you look good. Hell yeah. Let's go. Thank I you for paying attention. Do, to my do I do I know who Yam gods is? No, no, no. Uh, we play Minecraft together because I am a very social person. Oh, fair. You know what? My, Minecraft is a fun time. I've played Minecraft with you, and in we take it seriously, and everyone else takes it <laughs> so not seriously. So that's why the other one game back. Three, two, <laughs> one. Comes right, down. We'll go to Mac. Connor for real. Uh, <laughs> we'll go to Rosario. <laughs> Becky G, a singer. Uh, he is. He is, but yeah. that's not the right answer. Michael. Ah. Doja Cat? Uh, Kelly. Doja Cat! Uh, Ryan. Billy Eilish? Uh, Brittany. Oh, we were thinking the same. I put Billy Eilish, too. Uh, Mark. <laughs> uh, yeah, Billy Eilish. Uh, and Jake. She's like, the only young singer I know, Billy yeah. Eilish. <laughs> Billie Eilish is correct. Oh, yeah. A lot of artists on Twitch are covering her song, so I'm like, so California oh. and Godspeed Spider Man are tied with nine, and Beat the Geeks and Hollywood Video are tied with eight. It's a very close game. 
as we get to the next question, your second to last one in this round, uh, which is in science. And technology. And technology. Go ahead, Spencer. Yeah. Your question. Uh, fucking magnets. How do they work? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it not question? Wait, <laughs> question. Okay, question. Your, you your question. Cumulonimbus and cirrostratus are types of what? I would love it if our question was actually just ma- fucking magnets. How do they work? <laughs> for, for, for the title, that is the question. Just explain yeah. magnets. <laughs> explain magnets in a very specific pseudoscience way. Yeah. Um, or just or just quote every vine ever to me, and I'll just keep the points. When, when, when um, the when the, when the players explain their answer, and it's like a really long message, would you call it the magnet carta? There you go. Thank you for the others. <laughs> Joseph, the algorithm, of course, with hell yes. Um, five, four. I repeat the question. Okay. Uh, cumulonimbus and cirrostratus are types of what? Stole your thunder again. I apologize. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I think I deserve it for the magnet card a question. I think a little bit. I think a little <laughs> bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. That 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 was a little rough. I, a little, I, I'm not a good host. I just make really bad jokes that are only funny to me. Fair. <laughs> Kelly and Michael, you're not allowed to play together again. I need one of you if Bar's not here. Five, four, Pull the old man to sleep later. Two, one. Heads down. We'll get Mac dance with first. When two magnets become attracted to each other, they fall in love and make clouds. <laughs> What's Arya? Clouds! Michael. Thank you, Hercules. Clouds. Oh, Kelly. Oh. Is this a Hercules team? Cut! Clouds! Uh, Ryan. No, this is when uh, high school science is failing me. I just did a chemical reaction. Uh, Brittany. Yeah, I got last second clouds. Mark. There's a lot of mad clown love happening right now. Uh, clouds. Uh, and Jake. Clouds. Clouds is correct. Damn. So we're tied 11 and 11 between Godspeed Spider-Man in California. Hollywood Video has 10. Beat the Geeks has 9 as we go to the last question, which is in the category of miscellaneous. And your miscellaneous category tonight is business slogans. Business oh. slogans. Mm-hmm. Okay. What shipping company has the slogan, the world on time? I don't know if you noticed this when you said the category, Kelly just died inside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kelly was like, oh, you just this made miscellaneous not, not fun. <laughs> you just made it not fun. <laughs> I mean, if you support your local billionaire, you should know all these questions. Exactly. Or watch a lot of TV or look at a lot of print ads or work for these companies in any when sort of way. When they pay million of dollars Super Bowl ads and they just say like yeah. seven words, Five, there you go. Four, three, two, one. And now we'll go to Mac. FedEx. Uh, Rosario. I mean, it's 50 50. I'm going to go with FedEx. Michael. Yeah, 50 50. I said FedEx. Kelly. Amazon. Uh, Ryan. I said USPS, the United States Postal Service. <laughs> Brittany. But FedEx. Uh, Mark. It'd be funny if we're all wrong. FedEx. Uh, and Jake. <laughs> FedEx. Uh, FedEx is correct. Oh, uh, I, uh, when we did business slogans, I was legally obligated to write FedEx question. Uh, but at the end of round number uh, one, we have Godspeed Spider-Man winning with 13, California with 12, Hollywood Video 12, and Beat the Geeks, unfortunately, with 10. It means we'll be saying goodnight to Ryan and Brittany first. Thank you guys for coming on and playing. Um, I hope you come back and play again. Uh, you're more than welcome to stick around backstage, uh, but we are unfortunately have to say goodbye to you tonight. Uh, so we'll move on to round number two, uh, which is going to be the exact same thing you did again uh, because we believe in in doing it twice again. Uh, so if it ain't broke, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But all your points obviously get erased for the sake of me trying to remember everything and not having a million tally marks on my board. So. Uh, Spence, you get to take the next question. Oh, yeah. Also miscellaneous. In business slogans, Kelly's favorite category, what tech company uses the slogan, think different? Is it spelled wrong? I think it's spelled wrong. I think it is spelled wrong, but I don't know. Listen, hmm. I, this category is not a spelling category. Okay? Right. I I could write a spelling bee category where it's just spell. I, I, would, I would probably <laughs> fire you. <laughs> If you wrote a math or spelling category, it's we by Akila and the B2, Five, spell this word. Four, three, two, one. We'll start with Mac. Google? 
I will go to Wazario. That sounds right. Fuck. I said Apple. Uh, Michael. It's Apple. Uh, Kelly. I hope Ooh. it's Apple. Jake. I put Tesla. Uh, and Mark. I put Apple. Apple is correct. Okay. We go to your next question in the category of science and technology. Who invented the cotton gin? Like a person? We're looking for the, the person who made this, this product of thingy. Cotton gin. Cotton gin? Not great. Tastes very dry. <laughs> you know what? That was a good one. You know what? I'll give you that. That was a good one. That was, I, I, yeah. that was decent. That, that was, was decent. Five, I get like two good jokes four. here. Three, two, one, hands down. We'll start with Mac. I believe the answer is mankind. Let's go to Wizario. Mr. C. Otten G. We'll go to Mark Michael. I said cut my jar. We'll go to Kelly. I'm a Kellogg. I'll go to Mark. Uh, I think it's Eli Whitney. I am Jake. Go to Bombay. Eli Whitney is correct, but this is my favorite round of answers I've ever gotten on miscellaneous. Uh, all right. Spence going to the next question in music. Your question. Which hip-hop artist won the Best New Artist Award at the 2021 Grammys? Did you watch this year's Grammys? I've never watched a Grammy ceremony. There have been good Grammy ceremonies, um, but this was not one of them. This was awful. They they had people do full performances and then they did the awards in a separate place from where they were doing performances and almost all the performances were just okay. I haven't I haven't watched a live Oscars in four years. I'm only watching a live wow. Grammy. Wow! I was the, the, fir the first time I missed it. I was literally in the hospital with like a broken hand. Three, two, one. How did you not watch this year's? Uh, Mac. That's not right. But shout out to the weekend. Uh, Wazario. I believe it's Mrs. Becky G. Uh, we'll go to Michael. I said Cardi B. Uh, we'll go to Kelly. Cohen. Uh, we'll go to Mark. Uh, it'd be funny if he went to Kashi Six Nine. Uh, Jay. I just said Doja Cat. Uh, some of you naming people who were nominated. The answer we were looking for was Megan the Stallion. Megan the Stallion. So Cardi B is pretty close. Of course. Yeah. All right. Your next question is the category of TV. Who just recently announced the end of their tenure as the titular doctor? On Doctor Who. Speaking of Megan the Stallion, what if we have a miscellaneous category where it asks you to recreate dance moves? No. And that's your point. <laughs> no. I'll tell you why. That would break the illusion that we're all just floating torsos and heads on the internet. Oh yeah, we, we, we can't we can't have leg matches, can we? I, no. Every time that we meet people, like in real life, every time that I like go to places and meet people, um, it always throws me off that they have height. Uh, and legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, we'll go to Mac. That one lady. Wazaria. <laughs> that one girl, doctor. Hashtag Hollywood video. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Is it Jerdy Karma? I'll go to Kelly. Oh, I put Jerdy Karma. I was, couldn't pull it. We'll go to Mark. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, Jody Whitaker. <laughs> But, uh, we'll yeah. go to Jake. Jody Whitaker. Jody Whitaker is correct. Uh, okay. Mark, I don't think. I don't know. That one lady. I don't know. Did you have an R on the end of Whitaker, Mark? I I noticed it as I was showing it, which is why I said off oh, fuck. So uh, I only yeah. wrote with take. Like I I forgot yeah. to write an R. So you know. I believe yeah, it's that was on you. Uh, fair. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think I can only give the points to Jake on that one, but yep. everyone else missed anyway, so it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Um, all right, going to the next right. question in sports. So that's yeah. Uh, question: What <laughs> NBA team did the Milwaukee Bucks beat when beat to win the most recent Eastern Conference Finals? God damn basketball! I, was that English? <laughs> that was English. Did you a good job? Oh my god! I, why is there an Eastern like just? I have like a national conference is easier. Spence. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know Spence. how sports work. Well, you see, in basketball, there's a thing called East and West. And in, in like football, they have an AFC and an NFC. But when, I, but when I ask national. you about East and West, you get frustrated. Uh, <laughs> repeat the question. Uh, all right, go ahead, Spence. 
Uh, what NBA team did the, did the Milwaukee Bucks beat to win the most recent Eastern Conference Finals? Question sponsored by Trucks Honking. But yeah, no, see, the thing with the NFL is they have the thing you said. They have the American Football Conference and the National Football Conference. And then within that, they have four divisions represented by North, South, East. one non-American team? There, what? Like Wait, what? No, 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 it's baseball. Baseball has one. Five, four, Why are there, no, like They're three, all in America. Why is there a two, national division? One. Pens down. We'll go to Mac. Because they're traveling. The Doze. Simplest way. Uh, we'll go to Rosario. Atlanta Hawks. Uh, we'll go to uh, Michael. Atlanta Hawks. Uh, we'll go to Kelly. Miami Hate. Uh, we will go to uh, Mark. I hate myself. I said the Nets. Uh, and Jacob. Uh, I did not know your team, so I just know the Chicago Bulls, and so I just guessed that. The answer we have is the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, that was in the that was in the Eastern semifinals. Okay. Atlanta Hawks was the conference finals. There you go. Uh, yeah. uh, that that then the the answer is incorrect. So the the Hawks is a point for California and for Hollywood Radio. Yeah. Uh, so it's three to three to two, I believe. Fact check it. Just I'll, I'll I, make I, sure. I, I, mean, I mean, I mean, Michael's I'll right. It was the Hawks. Like that's, I that's what you said it, and I went. I think that's correct. Eastern Conference Finals, twenty twenty one. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, Joseph, you left the last comment, so you're still cool. Yeah, J Joseph, you're, you're a baller. Uh, yes, it is the Hawks and the Bucks uh, for the finals. No, it all along. All right. So, uh, with that, we are three to three to two as we yes. go to the next question of the category of gaming, uh, which is how many Black Ops games have been released in the Call of Duty franchise? I should know this. I I used to. I don't know why. I just stopped playing Call of Duty. I haven't played in a long time. I the last one I played was um, Advanced Warfare, where you could like run on buildings oh, and shit. Yeah. The last one I played uh, was uh, was Modern Warfare. <laughs> not the first, oh, not the, 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 the new the one. new one, because that's where you have the the open world like uh, uh, Fortnite game, and I played that with Cody right. and Tim in, in, in uh, lockdown. But, yeah. Three, two, one. Uh, I was the worst of the three. Cody will still say it all the time. Uh, we'll go to Max. Four. Uh, we'll go to Wazario. The shield with three. Uh, we'll go to Michael. I said four. Uh, we'll go to Kelly. I said three. Mark. There's four. Uh, and Jake. I'd like to thank, personally thank my brother for knowing this one. Four. Everyone's incorrect. The answer is five. Black Ops 1 through 4 and Black Ops Cold War. Oh, that's, uh, a, that's a dick question. <laughs> there's the, the four titles and Cold War. Is it, is it called Black Ops Cold War? I thought it was just called Cold War. Uh, well, cold according Cold to what we have, it's called the Black Ops hyphen Cold War. Okay. Um, but I can triple mm. check that for you if you like. Yeah. Um, yeah, I go here. Call me Black Ops Cold War. You better probably yeah. should check these questions before the match. Right. You know? <laughs> I did, and everyone answered them correctly in testing the way we had them. That's why we test, Wazario. Okay, uh, Spence, give him the next question. All right, next question comes in the category of multiplex. Kane McMillan edited a vlog featuring multiplex admins visiting what U.S. city? Oh, man. Very proud of this question. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I know you are. It's okay, Mark. The video is still a banger. I just wish we got the rest of it. Actually, I actually watched it for the first time a couple months ago, and yeah. very much worth it. I wish we had the rest of the parts, but yeah. five, four. <laughs> Part seven would have been really great. Two. Well, it's only three parts. Uh, Penn State will go to Mac. Chicago. Uh, we'll go to Wazario. Chicago hashtag release blog part two. Uh, Michael. <laughs> Chicago. Kelly. Oh, I got confused. Milwaukee. Uh, we'll go to Mark. I think it's obvious something. I said New York. Uh, and Jake. Chicago. Chicago is correct. So there was a Milwaukee trip this year, but no fuck. Uh, <laughs> all right. Your uh, penultimate question is in paints and books and theater. Who wrote the books Paper Towns, Turtles All the Way Down, and Looking for Alaska? If I'm not mistaken, is this a 4-4-4 game? 
Yeah, we are all tied up at four across the board right now with two questions left. Um, so we will have to bust out sudden deaths. We have a lot of sudden death questions in this deck. For a lot I of was bored purposes. a couple days ago and just... <laughs> Spence just like was like, you know what? I'm gonna write like 30 extra questions for a match <laughs> that we only need like 20. Five, four, three. They get used. Two, one. That's true. Uh, pens down. We'll go to Mac. Josh Green. Oh, we'll go to Azario. Cara de Lavigne was in Paper Towns. <laughs> she was. But that's movie. Stop it. Mine. Mac, my, I my hot man. Uh, John Green. <laughs> Kelly. John Green. Jake. John Green. Mark. I thought it was Ryan Lochte. Uh, John Green is correct. So we have six for California, five for Godspeed Spider-Man, four for Hollywood videos. We go into the last question in, hist or in history slash geography. In history. history. In history. Must, in history of this yeah. your, your question. What country is home to the capital city of Dublin? Oh, I should know. Oh, that's... This is a tight game. This this could swing very easily in a couple of seconds. <laughs> Who knows? But this has been great so far. I'm like, holy shit. Did Bye. you the right John Green pilots? The fuck? No. <laughs> <laughs> One. Heads <laughs> down. We'll go to Mac. Ireland. Rosario. Ireland. Michael. Could up there be Ireland? There. Kelly. <laughs> Jake. I was going to try and do an accent, but then I realized I shouldn't. Uh, and Mark. Oh, my God. I fucked up. I said Germany like an idiot. We, got a tie game. we have a tie game between oh, Hollywood God. Video and Godspeed Spider-Man. California is going to the next round. Uh, but what we will oh, do is we will give them sudden death questions using the, the what. So let's just see what I'm doing. We're just going to go right back down category yeah. by category using the sudden death. So. Uh, history geography again for you, still whiteboard. What public figure was a was assassinated at the Lorraine Hotel in Memphis in 1968? Sad question. This is a sad question. But this is intense. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. It, and this is what's funny is this is a pretty evenly matched. We have two international players and, and two. Uh, and two domestics, as, as I say, uh, play. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that, but that's how we like yes, pack packages. Them. Packages in a FedEx warehouse are literally I'm domestic and international. Okay, so, Kelly, can you play go home? Three, five, <laughs> two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Mac. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, we will go to Wazario. Martin Luther King. Uh, uh, we'll go to Mark. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, and Jake. I'm sorry, Ma. I just put John F. Kennedy. And with that, yeah. we say goodbye to Godspeed Spider-Man. The answer is Martin Luther King Jr. in his Hollywood video sorry, versus Ma. California. Uh, thank you guys so much for playing. You guys play great. I hope you come back. Uh, if we'll you be back. Hang yeah, if you want to hang out backstage and watch, you're more than welcome to. But we'll say goodbye to you tonight. Thank you so much for playing. That was a fantastic God showing for a new team. Godspeed Spider-Man. <laughs> Uh, that was a fantastic showing, uh, and now I need to do that and that. There we go. And we're going to do them up and down like that. There we go. Perfect. Now we've readjusted, and now this is uh, the rounds three rules for fandom is the way we can really only explain this makes sense. Now, as a team, we're going to give you the category, uh, and then you're going to tell us which player is going to take it. The next person has to take the next one. You can redistribute as we go along until we are out of questions in uh, one again in each category, and then we will have a final team. So... Any questions as we get into this round? Yeah, I didn't understand anything. Uh, well, you played you played fandom round three. You played right? fandom, right? Yeah. yeah. No. Well, deal with it. All she right. Nazario has. Nizarya's yeah. Nizarya's played That's right. Hollywood video has yeah. All right. Uh, so your first category is going to be history slash geography. Who's going to take history slash geography? Can we phone a friend? That one? Uh, no. Unfortunately, you're, you're it's about geography. Okay. If I take this one and then the PBT and then you take, so well, no, it's red. Is? It's this red. is oh. random, right? For her? Uh, yeah. That's right. You got to spin, no, right. you spin oh. the wheel. This is yeah. this is randomized through. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. So you, oh, you've already randomized it. 
Uh, yes, I'm going to bring up the wheel, but we started with history slash geography okay. and then spin around. Okay. So this is what um, I'm thinking. Yes, I'll take history. I'll take it. Yeah. This is what I'm thinking, yeah. Waylis. If it's American history or American geography, I'm fucked. Yeah. <clears throat> and it'll go. definitely be embarrassing for me if I miss it. So that's good, too. So let's do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I, I, lo- I got to say, I love the, like, stereotypical villain voice. Um, where he just pitched his voice down a little bit deeper. That's just Mac. Uh, what you so, Mac, you're taking you it? About? Yes. All right. Uh, Spence, go ahead and give them their question in history geography. Absolutely. Your question. The Japanese town of Edo was renamed to what in 1603? 1603. I believe is the year that Caleb Bowman was born. Um, I can't quite confirm that because we have no idea when he actually was born. He's timeless. Fair. He is a timeless dinosaur. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, Mac. Endo. Uh, we'll go to uh, Kelly. 50-50. Tokyo? Tokyo is correct. So we will bring I that banner down. Would have been Laredo. Uh, no, I wrote Kyoto first. Did you just say Laredo? Taiwan was the only thing I had in my head. Did you just say Laredo? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I bring up the beautiful wheel decide.com to determine what your second category will be, which Michael and Wazari have to take. Instant geography is not on this wheel. Lands on. Multiplex, multiplex will be what you guys are taking. So, your question in multiplex. Name both categories added to fandom fights this current season. Both players going right to that board. Hmm. Uh, A fandom legend and then a dude who's just here. I, hey, Michael Campbell was a manager of the year nominee in Fandom Awards season one. I'm That's, talking about Michael being the being the Fandom oh, vote. Oh, oh, Cesario, I, I, you're Cesario ain't touching away. that. I thought, taking, I thought you were taking like a weird shot. Five, nah, dude. Four, Did three, you watch that match? Two, Realized one. Matt Quayar. Pens down. Pens down. <laughs> we're gonna go to. Uh, we're gonna go to Michael. Uh, horror icons and Mission Impossible. Uh, Wazaria. I believe it's pronounced Mijon Impossible and Horror Icon. Uh, that is correct. Uh, two to one. Uh, and now we bring back the wheel for which you can now redistribute who is taking what. Spin is away. Sorry, it's French. Who knew? It lands on gaming. Who is going to take gaming? Uh, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Do you play games? <laughs> A little bit. I mean, if it's like I, I, I can 1980s take it. or 90s, I'm gold. If it's anything newer than that, I'm done. <laughs> I'll, it, I'll take, take it that way. We'll leave you open in case like sports or something comes up next. All right. So Kelly and Mac are taking it. Spence, give them their question in gaming. What shape are the tiles used to represent a land space in Settlers of Catan? What is that? What is that? Uh, is a is a, a game, hence gaming. I haven't played this yet, but I've wanted to for like the longest time. I've never played it either, but I don't have much of a strong desire to. I feel I feel like Richard Boatman loves Settlers of Catan. I guarantee you, he does. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. We'll start with Mac. Hexagon. I uh, will we'll go to Kelly. Hexagon. Hexagon is correct. Side of the devil, let's go. <laughs> okay, then we'll bring up the wheel. We're gonna start really, fast. That works. Uh, music, music no! is gonna be what Wazario and Michael have to take. Uh, your question in music Johnny Cash released a song in 1956 about blues from what prison? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, sh- should we make the joke? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna sit here then. <laughs> You're just gonna sit here. You're not gonna say anything because I feel like you're gonna make a joke to give away something. Five, four, three, two, one, and it's down. We will go to Michael. Uh, Folsom. Uh, and Wazario. 
Some people think it's a jail. <laughs> also prison. That is correct. Uh, all right. So you can now redistribute who takes what Jake or Goni is dying at that one. Uh, here's the wheel. You can redistribute who's taking what. Your spin is away. Awesome jail boys. <laughs> miscellaneous category of business slogans. Who's taking miscellaneous? Um, Michael, I might take it. No, no, you take it. Sure. What do you think? I mean, I feel okay about. I feel okay about it. I feel less confident. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. yeah. That's Michael. Wait, wait, just just the only How thing about if you left is sports, if we spin right? sports? I know, yeah, but which, whatever. Fuck it. Yeah. It could go wait, either way. I'll take How it. about if you just do it? Adidas. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Uh, Spence, go ahead and give them the question uh, for Mac and Michael. What breakfast cereal goes by the slogan, The Breakfast of Champions? Breakfast, uh, the most overrated meal of the day. I hard disagree with that. I like breakfast. Okay, we don't do I don't wake up in time for breakfast. I just don't eat it. <laughs> I like breakfast. I like it like a nice like 2 a.m. You guys are weird. Like, I have like 10 cereals. <laughs> I have a lot of cereal. Perhaps. Cereal's Five. the best. Two, one, pens down. We're gonna go to Mac. But not this horrible cereal, Wheaties. Exactly. Uh, and Michael. Uh, Wheaties. Wheaties is correct. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Mac uh, is wrong when he says that it's a terrible cereal. All right. Uh, so Kelly and Wazaria have to take this one. And it is paints and books and theater. No! <laughs> it misses. So it misses sports by the skin of their teeth. Uh, go ahead, or I'll go ahead and give you a question in Pates, Books, and Theater. Your question is: What is the most recent musical to win the Tony for Best Musical? This is a show. Yep, this is a show. It exists. Who? It is a piece of uh, art. Who what is Tony? Think? That's a great question, but also who is Oscar? Like who's Oscar and who is Tony? Like, why is it called that like better question, who's Emmy? Rossum. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I was gonna say, but and then Grammy is just someone's grandma, right? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. We will go to Wazario. This is a musical, right? That is a musical, but it's not the right musical. We'll go to Kelly. The color purple. Uh, we were looking for Hades Town. Hades Town, of course. Color Purple, up the same year as Hamilton. Dear Evan the year after him. James Woods is great in that show, though. He is great in Hades Town. Uh, all right. I'm loving the heck of these references in this. You can redistribute who takes what now, and it lands on science and technology. Science. Michael, I'm too scared that spot's still in the wheel. So, yeah. Okay. Can I take it? Can I take science tech? Yeah. Me yeah. and Kelly are on the same wavelength. I'll, I'll take this one. But sports and TV is still on the wing. Yeah, you can you can get sports. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kelly and Mac are taking it. It's best to give them their question in science and technology. What is the center of an atom that is comprised of protons and neutrons called? That's Everyone here. Needs to listen to Hades Town. I, I can be honest with you. I am having more fun watching Jake and Mark backstage. <laughs> Jake is just like throwing his hands over the air going, as, damn it. As He's a community, like, we, need to, we, need, we need to find a term for our backseat drivers. People who are just backstage screaming that they know the I have literally questions. said, if there was like a backstage cam that I could do for like YLS when I'm producing or people like when the shows are done, they're not on stage, it'd be great. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, we will go to Kelly. Nucleus. Uh, and Mac. Nucleus. That is correct. So we bring back the wheel to determine what Wazario and Michael are taking. You have a you have a, a shot here in uh, sports or TV. It is sports. It is sports. Okay. Your question 
in sports. Who is stripped of their Tour de France titles after being caught for blood doping? Oh my God! What's his fucking name? Jake Marangoni is livid. Is that what? Like so is Mark. Here? Mark is also livid. Do we have repeats here? Uh, you have no designated no, amount no, of repeats. No, you can just no, do every it time there's repeat. Repeat, repeat. Who is stripped of their Tour de France titles after being caught for blood doping? The rule for repeats on the show is you don't have a designated amount. Uh, but if you start pissing me off, I'm just gonna cut you off. <laughs> if you use it like if you use it like a million times on a question, then you just won't be allowed to repeat for the rest of the match. I'm sorry, can you give both your hands up? Oh, never mind. Here His hands are up. I, his name was off screen. I didn't see it. I'll be honest, I didn't see the ball up in the screen as well. <laughs> give me one more repeat. God damn it. Who is stripped of the return of Red Styles on Red Copper Blood Doping? Is is this like a sequel to a twenty fifteen Shamik Moore film? Five. Four. <laughs> Two, one. Uh, Wazario. The guy with the fucking bracelets, man. Yeah, you know who he is, uh, Michael. Uh, to quote Jake Marangoni, his cameo in Dodgeball is great. Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong is correct, and his cameo in Dodgeball is great, and his cameo in Tour de Pharmacy is fantastic. Uh, so, right now, I believe it is the score seven to five as we go to the last category. The last category, of course, uh, being. The only thing we have left, television, TV. Uh, so, uh, who is going to take Paper, TV? Scissors, rock. Yeah. Pay the wrong order. Scissors, rock. Kelly. Okay. Trusty oh, rock. Okay. Never fails. All right. And is it Rosario and Mac who's going to take uh, TV? I don't think it matters. You guys going to do Paper, Scissors, Rock, too. Oh, Unless this is a five point. <laughs> Watching you guys play rock paper scissors <laughs> on lag is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is a top ten moment of the year right now. <laughs> you know that that line from Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. That scene in Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead, where they're literally just flipping the coin over and over, and it's always landing heads. That's exactly what it just felt like for a minute. Well, can edit that with some battle music. Oh, uh, sure, I'll take it. What the heck? <laughs> it's just like rock paper scissors for no reason. Okay, all right. I love it. Your your question in TV. How many seasons did Everybody Loves Raymond run for? I don't love no. no. That's just my that's my ring. That's right. Is, is, is that your is that your American accent? It's, it's like it's like Raymond <laughs> Crossman Kermit. No. <laughs> Raymond Kermit. You gotta put a little Kurt Kowalkowski in there and it'll be hundred percent accurate. Um five, four, three, two, one. Uh we will go to Kelly. Gut instinct. Eight. Uh and Mac. Ten. You both shot right around it. The answer is nine. Oh. The answer is nine. But with that, uh, with a score of seven to five, uh, Hollywood Video, uh, you are done for the night. But thank you so much for participating and playing. Uh, we hey, will see you guys again. We, we get two wins and one loss, right? Uh, sure. That, the, the records are definitely things I keep track of on this show. Uh, <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for playing. Uh, this is now 1v1. But congratulations, California. You're back. Uh, in two weeks, which we didn't even really think about. Uh, but yeah, you're back in two weeks. Oh, fuck. Uh, playing uh, Mischief Managed well, I mean, and Keystone Cops for the Mound. Uh, but no, that is up uh, now for you guys. But for now, uh, you are now mortal enemies and must fight to the death in the Mound of Miscellaneous for who's going to the final uh, Super Ultra Mega Mound Arcade Edition. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we will start. Uh, we're going to go backwards from what we did in round one. So we will start with the miscellaneous category of business slogans. And your question is, what hygiene product has the slogan, because you are worth it? It's mm. been a fantastic show tonight. I'm, I, I've been loving it. It's been great. I just wrote I'm down so the words. On how they how they did how they did rock paper scissors in the wrong. Order. That was insane. That's a top ten multiplex like cross channel moment of the year. Uh, but I just wrote down Kelly v Michael on my board, and I never thought I'd have to do that in my life. Five, four, three, 
two, one. We'll go to Kelly. Pantane. Uh, Michael. L'Oreal. L'Oreal is correct. We would also accept L'Oreal Paris. Mm-hmm. All right, in the next question in science. Oh. What does VHS stand for? Waiting to see when he notices backstage. Um, I don't know if he noticed that. No, he's freaking out now. <laughs> I want to see if he noticed. If, if, I was like, well, if, if you know, if Wazario makes it, then this will be really funny. But five, four, eight, two, one. Uh, we'll go to Michael. Video home system? Kelly. Video home system? That would be correct. Your next question is in the category of music. According to the song Mr. Brightside, when he's having a smoke, what is she taking? I also love this question. Damn this is a, this is a really question, fun question. Guys. I listened to it at, like five times at work yesterday, and each time it was amazing. I will say Payson Johnson, who's probably not watching right now, had my favorite answer in testing. He got this wrong, and it was so funny. What, what did, okay, what did he five, say after four, this? Three, two, one, hands down. We'll go to Kelly. Is she taking a drag? Michael. Fuck, I knew some of I couldn't think I said drink. Taking a drag is correct. Pacer said taking a toke, uh, <laughs> which is really funny. Uh, all right. We are all tied up two to two uh, as we go to the next question, Spence. In TV. Breaking Bad is a TV show about a high school teacher cooking what drug? If anyone is. Well, actually, I can't say that. It's not out yet. It comes out tomorrow, I think. Or maybe oh, next yeah, week. yeah, that thing. Either tomorrow or the next week. I don't remember. Um, but five. I'm coming out tomorrow, and that match is a thing. One. Oh, yeah, that is coming out tomorrow. That's that. Uh, we're going to start with Michael. Meth? Uh, and Kelly. Crystal meth or methamphetamine. Both are correct. Uh, so we'll go to the fifth question, which is the category of sports. What baseball team plays at Citizens Bank Park? We do need the team name and the city for this one. I feel like when me and Redshaw come back, we should call our team name. Sports, how does it work? <laughs> Fucking sports, how does it work, man? Uh, I love it. That's a two. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, we'll start with Kelly. Do I have the city and team right? Chicago Cubs, is that a thing? That is a correct team name, but not for this. Uh, my oh, I, need. I just said the LA Angels. Also, correctly for the Philadelphia Phillies. Philadelphia Phillies. Go ahead, Spence. You get you, oh, you get the one yeah. that you wanted. You hell one yeah. one. <laughs> in gaming. In Bakugan, how do you get your figures onto their magnetic cards? So Spence, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna take the next two because I know you want the last one. I know you do. I also want the next one. <laughs> uh, no, I want that one. Fight. No, no, no. You, you can have it. I'm just proud of the question. Oh, you should be. But I, I was like, I want the next two, and you can take the last one. You can, you can you take like, the next two. Bye. Two, one, pens down. We're going to Michael. Tell me I'm wrong. You place them on with your hands. You are wrong, actually. Tell me. <laughs> Do you like launch it or spin it or something? You roll it, is what you're, we're you're thinking of. Uh, Beyblade. Beyblade is oh, the you rip it, it, yeah. Let it rip. yeah. All right, your next question the category multiplex. Who was the only faction not represented in the semifinals of this year's Warzone Summer Series Singles Tournament? Jake sitting backstage. I think he. I think he knows this one, and he likes this question. I just like. I think I just. I think I've had this point when we're sitting at the document. I like asking elaborate questions. Yeah, you do. I, I and it's frustrating because it's long. Repeat the question. Who is the only faction not represented in the semifinals of this year's Warzone Summer Series Singles Tournament? Uh, I just want to take the time to shout out. Thank you to everyone watching right now live. It's a lot. Uh, if you cannot watch this live and you are watching us on the replay on YouTube, thank you as well. That means a lot as well. Uh, so I also want to thank the uh, Yam Gods and Four Gathers. I think the Gathers, is that how you say that? For following us. That means a lot as well. Uh, five, four. Uh, we will go to Michael. Club Dread. Uh, we'll go to Kelly. Fun DMC. Club Dread is correct. Uh, 
on DMC. David David Nishimoto was in the semifinals for DMC. Uh, had to remember that for a second. All right. Uh, and your next question, the category of Pates and Books and Theaters, your last one for the night uh, in this category, potentially, unless we go to sudden death. What is the name of the Marvel comic book arc in which Scarlet Witch erases a significant population of the world's mutants? And Mark Menchaca has walked away angry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. I have a very specific thing I want to reference about this question that I can't say. <laughs> I like the question. I added this within the last 40 minutes. Oh, What's next? <laughs> Two. One. And it's now. We're going to Michael. I did have it. Uh, and Kelly. House of M. House of M is correct. Uh, so we are all tied up. Four to four going into the last question. Give it to him, Spence. In history slash geography. Before the new millennium, what was the name of the three symbol panic that the world had over their clocks malfunctioning? So I, I think Kelly might know this. Uh, Mark, so in the, like in the you know, in the mid two thousand, there was like a House of Mouse special with only yeah. the villains, and they House took over. Yeah. 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 yeah, so much fun. Right. That's Great so episode. wrong. Freaking House of what is it? What was it? Mickey's House of whatever. Uh, like the Halloween House, of House of Mouse. House, House of Mouse was Mouse, the name yeah. of the show. Yeah, yeah. House, House of Mouse was great. Rocks. That was great. Said that. It's it's a, no, the House of Mouse. Do, 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 do. Two, one. We'll go to Kelly. Y2K. And Michael. Y2K. That is correct. We're going to sudden death. Uh, how sudden death is going to work is uh, we're going to just give you another round of this, uh, literally starting back at miscellaneous where you were and back down again. So. Uh, your question, sudden death miscellaneous. What newspaper uses the slogan, all the news that's fit to print? Mm. Pretty news that you can't fit to print. It's just like run off the page. That was dumb, but I respect it. <laughs> it's it's more confusing me. Like, how, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> hey, Andrew James Barr, I know you're a big shot and you booked another movie, probably directed by Stephen Capel Jr., but like, I need you to come back. Stephen Cable Jr. actually is making that movie, so he could. Yeah, he is. I just don't. I don't think like that's Bar's the movie. Bar's movie. Bar's hint was not what that movie is. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, we will be going to Michael. New York Times. Uh, and Kelly. New York Times. That is correct. Uh, so we move on to your next one in science and technology, Spence. The sun is primarily composed of what two elements? This was another one. In testing, I was kind of, was kind of blown away by some of the answers like that. But it's fun. Good. Five, four. I want to guess they said two, fire. one. And <laughs> now we're gonna go to Kelly. Hydrogen and nitrogen. Uh, Michael. Yeah, I said gas and carbon. Both are incorrect. The answers we were looking for were hydrogen and helium. Um, which is weird, but yes, the answer I got was fire. Um, <laughs> your next question in the category of music. What rapper performs the songs Save That Money, Earth, and Freaky Friday? Cameron Holtzman loves Freaky Friday, uh, namely the Disney Channel original movie remake. <laughs> which is so weird. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand him a lot of the time. I don't either. It's kind of weird. Five, four, two, one. Heads down. We'll go to Michael. It's the fucking YouTube little something. I can't remember. Save that one. Uh, and Kelly. I just put Nas. Both are incorrect. We were looking for Lil Dicky. Lil Dicky. Dicky. That's what I'm uh, also known as the show and star of the FX show Dave. Yes. Uh, all right. Uh, Spence will give you your next question in TV. Yep, your next question. What TV show features this in-show segment, Fun with Flags? I love watching Godspeed Spider-Man backstage right now because they're sitting here going, oh, damn it, we would have done so good if we just Honestly, got over Hollywood. Well, they they were great. I'll yeah. be honest, Godspeed Spider-Man was one of the best miscellaneous teams I've seen in a minute. Uh, I really they hope they come back. back. They, they better come back. They were great. Uh, five, 
four. <laughs> One, pass down, we'll go to Michael. This came up somewhere and I can't fucking place where it came up, man. It's gonna annoy me. Uh Kelly. It came up in the couples match, the Big Bang Theory. Oh, Sheldon Cooper right. and Tucker. your winner! Kelly Min is going to the Super Ultra Mega Final Mound Arcade Edition. Uh, that was a fantastic match uh, between the two of you. Uh, but Kelly, you'll be going to the last event. You guys will be back to play for the mound in a triple threat with Keystone Cops and Mischief Man. And how you guys feeling about your team performance and individual performance day? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's always so much fun to play as a team with Michael anywhere, anytime. So, yeah, good job, Michael. I think, yeah, there was a couple of times you definitely could have taken it, a couple of times I could have taken it. So it's a good back and forth. Yeah, that no, was fun. Um, yeah, like I said, it's always fun to play with Kelly and Miss Linus. And yeah, I mean, Lil Dicky was that that was annoying because like, I knew exactly who it was. I was like, oh, it's some stupid, even though I sort of like him, but. Oh, yeah, but uh, yeah, congrats to Kelly for the taking it out. Yeah, I'm sure no one is really shocked watching. So, I think you know, I think her being in the final, last one of the match makes sense. So, yeah, it'll be fun. I will say, as as one of the people who have to play in the final thing with Kelly, I'm not looking forward to this at <laughs> all. Uh, but but that, it'll be a fun time. All I gotta hope is is that I I I just really hope I can equally hit a sports question, but she's gonna beat me at everything else. So that's how it's gonna work. But uh, great showing from you two. I uh, can't wait to see you guys come back and play the triple threat. Um, but for everyone here tonight, that has been Kelly, and that has been Michael. That was Mark. That was Jake. That was Bizarro. That was Mac, and that was Ryan and Brittany. Oh, I took out. The wrong person. You know what, Michael? <laughs> Michael does more for me. Okay. Um, but, hey, video store show said Michael was sexy. So I'm seeing you in three weeks, motherfucker. Swear this, is, this is true. But you know what? That was a great show. Thank you guys, everyone who participated, everyone who watched. Come back uh, two weeks from now uh, when we have that triple threat match going on on the line for the mound. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, but once again, thank you. Adeline Spence for joining me and helping me out tonight. This has been a pleasure, as always. Uh, if you are not following us here uh, and you're not subscribed to us on YouTube, please go give us the sub on YouTube and follow us there to watch the replays for this. We also do a whole lot more than just the stuff you see here on Twitch. The live shows are just a little bit of what we do. We also have movie trivia that we always allude to over on the YouTube channel. So follow the Plex Entertainment on YouTube. Go check that out. Uh, join our Facebook page to get all the inside scoop on what we're doing. And, of course... Hang on with us right here. Because we got three shows, four shows, five shows, six shows, a million shows. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. 